joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're going to be talking about rotary friction welding. Rotary friction welding is used when you have one component that can be rotated or symmetric about its rotary axis welded to another part that does not necessarily need to be symmetric. Now there are three main types of rotary friction welding. MTI executes all three processes so that we can take a look at your materials and your geometry and pick the, the technique that will help optimize your weld. Any one of these three techniques can be used for almost any weld, but we want to be able to optimize it for your application. As we evaluate which technology is best suited for the application, we want to look at the material and the part geometry. So for example, if we're trying to weld a thin wall tube to a plate, we'd be rotating the tube, holding, holding the plate stationary. Now we want to make sure that we get penetration of this tube into the plate in order to get a successful weld. Now the plate is going to act as a heat sink and wants that, that heat to dissipate very quickly. So we need a very high power input technology in order to successfully make this weld. So we would choose inertia welding for an application like this. In contrast, if I want to weld a solid bar, I know that there's no relative motion at the center of this part. So if I'm going to use the inertia welding process, I have to add a little bit more energy and a little bit more load in order to get the proper center heating. I can use the direct drive process and continually add energy using the rotating electric motor. This allows me to get the proper amount of center heating for this part in order to weld it successfully. The hybrid friction welding process uses the best of both inertia and direct drive. You have the constant energy side of the direct drive process where you're driving using the electric motor, adding energy to the beginning of the process, but then you end with the flywheels and a fixed storage energy amount. This helps you solve some of your more challenging joining applications. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, visit our website at mtiwelding.com.